Hey, it's Matt here from Modern Fuel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the mechanism on our click pencil. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your click pencil. Now, this one has the eraser plug installed. You, if you chose that option, that's uh, you might have that scenario. If not, it's just an eraser. The eraser just pulls straight in and out, or pushes in, pulls out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this eraser plug. Now this one has a steel eraser plug inside of a copper pencil, and we're going to set that to the side. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our Allen wrench inside the knock here, and we're going to push it down until it hits a little bit of resistance. Now this is not fully seated. Once we hit that resistance, we're just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit until it seats all the way down. Now you can tell you're in the right spot if that Allen wrench will go all the way down to the knock. I like to keep it up a little bit just so that it doesn't scratch the knock as we're taking this apart. Now from there I'm going to hold the Allen wrench in place and I'm going to rotate the knock of the pencil. I'm not talking about the body. I can rotate the body all day and that's designed to spin that way but I want to rotate the knock while holding the Allen wrench in place. So I'm s rotating here at this top part while I hold the Allen wrench. So I'm rotating in a clockwise manner as seen from above and this will unscrew that knock from the mechanism inside. Now I do have an example here that will show you kind of what's going on and we'll go through that at the end. So once this comes loose, then I can pull the Allen wrench and the knock out and I'm left with my pencil with the mechanism still in place. The next step is gonna be to remove the cone. To do that, I just unscrew it and now I have the cone with the mechanism separate from the body. To remove the mechanism completely, I'm going to grab it on the brass ring here and unscrew from the cone. And now I have the pencil completely taken apart and the mechanism is here. Now if I want to clean out the mechanism, it does break down further. We have another video on that. But if I'm just swapping it out or making sure it's seated properly, this is as far as I need to go. Now to reinstall, you can either take the same mechanism or if you have a different mechanism, you can do that and you're just going to put it back into the cone, screw it on until this brass ring sits all the way down on the cone, then you're going to take the body where the threads are and put it back on, screw the cone into the threads. The next step, you're going to take this knock from the pencil and just drop it into place. You're going to take the Allen wrench, put it back through the knock. Again, I hit some resistance, I'm going to wiggle it until it drops down, and now I'm going to put a little bit of downward pressure while I rotate that knock in a clockwise manner and hold that Allen wrench in place. That's going to screw the knock down onto the mechanism and I do that until the knock and the Allen wrench will no longer rotate against each other. So that's snug. Now it's set and if I want to I can either add my eraser and I'm good to go or I can do the eraser plug if I've opted to go that route and then just use an Allen wrench until it seats flush. You don't want to over tighten these threads. In order to get that lead to feed then, I'm going to click. If it, that doesn't work, I'm going to give it a little shake while I click and now I've got this out. If I do find uh, that I'm having a tough time writing, I want to make sure that it's not just a small little piece of lead in there. So that one got broken at some point. So I'll pull that out and then I'm going to go ahead and click, give it a little shake if I need to and now I've got that out and we're ready to write. Now let's go over what's actually happening for those of you who want to see how this works. So imagine here that we've got the body of the pencil screwed onto the cone. I've taken it off for illustration purposes and what you have is you have this knock sitting on the end of the mechanism. Now the mechanism itself can rotate freely inside of that mechanism. That tube can rotate freely and it's designed that way. However, in order to remove the knock, we need to hold this tube in place. Now I can hold it in place with my fingers and unscrew the knock this way, but when it's inside that body, there's no way to grab this, the tube of that mechanism. And so the way we get it is we put the Allen wrench in and we rotate it, we jiggle it just a little bit to get it to go inside of this mechanism here. From there, we're gonna unscrew that knock until it comes off and you can see that it's it's starting to go off of the threads of the mechanism. Once I unscrew it all the way, it's free to slide. 
now I can pull out the Allen wrench and the, the knock. So what's actually happening is I'm going through that knock and I'm putting it inside the end of that uh, mechanism. And that's what's holding that mechanism and keeping it from rotating. Then I unscrew the knock. Once I've done that, then I can unscrew the body from the cone and proceed as we did before. So you can see how that works. And then to put it back together, I would screw the body onto the cone after I've seated the mechanism. And then I would drop this in place inside the body, the knock inside the body, and it would rest right on top of those threads. If I try to spin it, it might just rotate that shaft and it's not going to actually screw it into place. So again, we take that Allen wrench and we're going to go through. And what happens is you meet some resistance right at first, but it's not actually inside the Allen uh, wrench cut area. And so you drop it down, you wiggle it a little bit, and it goes the rest of the way. From there, you're going to hold the knock, or I'm sorry, hold the Allen wrench and screw the knock in place. Once you meet that resistance where it's snug against that Allen wrench, you pull that out and you're done. Now you would have that body on there, but it's otherwise ready to write. So you can see that body, this would actually write without the body. Uh, that's how it's designed. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to us at support at modernfuel.com.